For those of you creating faceless videos, achieving consistent character is often one of the biggest problems. That's why when I discovered this powerful website, I decided to share it with you and show you how to use it for completely free. This website is one of the best kept secrets for generating remarkably consistent characters and is entirely free. Most creators are not often talking about this website. The level of consistency you can achieve with this website is mind-blowing. It has quickly become one of my go-to websites for creating uniform characters across multiple videos without spending any money. Don't just take my word for it, here's a look of some images I generated using this website. Zola, the stories won't tell themselves. What stories are you hiding? You can help! Why won't you? If you take a look at my screen, all the characters in this story were generated using this website. Here are the parent characters and then these are images generated from these characters. Now we are going to get started but before we do that, quickly like this video and subscribe to this channel so you stay updated on my upcoming videos. Now this website name is called Wix. I know most of you know this website but you don't know the power of this website so now we are going to go on step by step first we are going to prepare our parent image these are my parent image that we are going to be using to generate each of our scenes when you go to this website this is just the interface you are going to see i'll leave the link to this website in the video description below so that you can get access to it now when you come to this website on the left hand side here you will see what they call subject then you will see scene here and if you come down here you will see style i'll explain what each of these things means so this first one where you see subject this is where you enter in the subject you want to use to generate your videos so here we have two options to enter in your subject we have the enter text option and we also have the upload image option i'll show you how to use both of this method but first let's start with the enter text option so you click on enter text and you are going to see this so this is where you enter in the description of your subject so i'm going to just copy a prompt which i already have and then use it so right here i've entered in the prompt i want to use to generate the image for my first subject i'll show you how to come up with a prompt that you can use to generate your subject so watch this video to the end because i'll be revealing that secret at the end of this video after entering in that um, description we now have our sub so this is the first subject i want to use now let's say i'm working on different videos i want to have three different subjects that's three different characters in my story so right from here we are going to come here again where you see this plus icon here just click on that plus icon and you'll be given access to add a new subject so for this example now since we have already talked about using enter text we are going to now use upload image so i'm going to click on upload image now okay so let's say this guy for example will be our second um subject so let's upload that once you upload it it's going to start analyzing that image so let's say now you have another subject you want to use you are going to click on the plus sign again and you'll be given access again to add a new subject now let's move on so if you come down here this is a scene if you have an imagination native scene where you want this subject to be placed in that's where you want them to be you can use this scene option and describe where you want them to be let me quickly just do this so for this scene i'm going to say deep forest click on generate so now we have subject one we have subject two and then we have our scene then the next thing is style you can decide to leave this so this style is basically we have in you remember we have realistic style we have a pizza um, 3d style there are other styles that you can use for this style we can use enter text or you can use upload an image so i'm going to upload an image because i want them to be in a 3d kind of pizza style all right so here we have our style everything now is complete now we are ready to generate images any scene at all with what we have just added pay attention because i'm going to show you something that you don't know so here you notice something so let me quickly show you this you notice this uh tick box so you notice another one here if you come down you notice another one on all the images we have uploaded so we can toggle this off you can see that is being toggled off so i can toggle that off anytime i want to generate an image 
with honor this guy so i will explain that later i'll show you an example of how to do that so just watch the video to the end now that we have our complete setup let's go ahead so in the um text box area here um this is where you enter in your image description this is the description i've just entered in for my image scene don't worry you're not going to be doing this um description by yourself you're going to use ai to do the description like i said i'll show you that at the end of this video but let's focus on this for now so after entering in that description it's time for you to generate your image so come here and this is where you select your aspect ratio from square size portrait size landscape size anyone you want to use you can select that so for this image i'm going to select landscape size and then another thing we have here this is the setting option so we have um this seed i will explain this to you but first let's generate our first um scene so now let's just click on um generate to start generating our image all right so you can see that so this is it this is the first scene you can see my description it gave me exactly what i was looking for now let's go to the left hand side here you can see this is the character this is the first character take a look at the face and then you see here this is the second character also take a look at the face and the clothing everything this guy is wearing appears here you can see this is what the guy was wearing there look at it also is the same thing the guy was wearing and everything the detail is massive so let's go down here you can see this is the scene and that is exactly the scene they they are being placed in then this is the style that is the 3d pizza style that has been used all right so now let's move on and create another scene using this same character okay you can see that we have added that description so now let's click on generate again okay sorry guys before you click on that generate generating your second scene what you need to do here you need to come to this setting this is where you need to lock this your seed so that you can have that uh, more consistency so i'm going to lock that seed right there okay before you generate your second scene you make sure you click on that um lock seed so let's open this you can see how cool this is that's following our description so if you have a more detailed description it's going to give you a precise um images so i promised you i'm going to show you something at the end of this video so let me quickly just show you that so let's say for example the next scene that i want to generate i don't want to have this guy in that scene again what we are going to do now is to toggle this um, um checkbox off so uh, now i've just turned that off that guy won't be included in my descriptions and now let's go down here and click on generate so you are going to see magic right now okay so you can see how cool that is now what just happened now is that it doesn't come with the guy because we have toggled that um checkbox on the guy's um subject of it doesn't come with that guy you can see how cool this image is let's check the second image that we have gotten okay this is nice so now you can go ahead to download these images but wait i'm going to show you another thing again on this left hand side if you want to generate um, a scene for only the guy you can toggle um the ladies own off and keep only the guy that's how you um switch between each of these characters so if you're working on a story that you're talking about different characters and all that and they are in different places you can toggle this off and generate for only that particular scene another cool thing is that you can animate this right on this website so let's go ahead so um for a particular image i want to animate that you can simply go here click on animate to animate that another thing you can do again is to refine that image so let's say what you have gotten is you don't like that you can click on refine when you click on refine here they are going to give you take you to another place whereby you can describe your edits what um what you want to see okay so for this refining let's say i want this tiger to be at their back so let's say don't mind my english so let's just use that and then we'll click on generate so let's wait and see what we are going to get if the refine option is this website is that effective and if you should use it okay so let's take a look at it so you can see this is this was our first image and now this is our second image after refining so you can see the tiger is a bit distance behind them according to our description so now we have gotten this you can then go ahead now and download it if that is what you are looking for just go ahead talk about the animating of this image so if you want to animate the image simply go here where you see animate click on that and then here you are going to give um the description that is what you want to see if you don't want to be doing guessing game like this you can use ai to have a precise description of what you want to get i'll show you that later so let's just click on generate so that we can wait and see the results okay and after some few minutes we now have our uh, video ready let's just play this video so 
you can see. Okay, let's keep it on full screen and then we'll play. Okay, I don't think that was nice because of um, our description and all that. So let's quickly just download this. All right, so now that um, you now notice how the animation works, let's go ahead now and let me show you how to do your prompting properly. To do your prompting, let's go to DeepSeek AI because I mostly use DeepSeek for my um, story preparation. So to do more of your story preparation, I use this prompt. So I've done a detailed video on how to do this your story script preparation so that you won't have to have that stress of coming up with description each time you want to create your scene and each time you want to create your video prompt. So if you notice, you see uh, my image prompt here and then you see my video prompt here coming from just a description I gave um, DeepSeek for um, for my video. This was how I came up with this particular um, story now that you are watching. It's worse than last season. The silence is eating everything. The land sleeps, Kofi. It has not forgotten its song. It is only waiting for someone to remember the rhythm. So if you want a detailed video on that, I'll leave that video link in the video description. Also drop your channel name in the comment section of this video so that people can interact and react and subscribe to your channel. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video.